So Green Gas USA was founded about three years ago. It, it was an idea. Um, it was an idea to make the environment better through capture of fugitive methane from waste sources. So we develop biogas projects from uh, agricultural sources. We transport RNG that's produced from biogas and then we inject that into the pipeline or deliver to customers who are looking to use renewable energy and decarbonize their own operations. So we're taking a waste stream and creating a value out of it. We came across a number of biomethane sources. They include industrial facilities, pulp and paper. They include vegetable processing facilities. McCall Farms is a great example of that. They include poultry processing facilities. None of them were really concerned with emissions from their wastewater processes. They were concerned with running their core business, which is, for the most part, producing food. Some of the reasons why we would want to collect biogas, well, the first is it is a greenhouse gas. I mean, it contains methane and CO2, both of which are greenhouse gases. That methane also has a high energy density, which can be used to essentially power landfills and dairy farms. So they're, they're really running off of their own, their own gas, so to speak. I mean, you can't get greener than that. Biogas can be used in the same places pipeline quality methane is used. Heating, power generation, cooking, vehicle transportation. Those are all great uses for the methane that comes out of the biogas. Now, with the advent of renewable natural gas being economically feasible, we see customers displacing their already very clean CNG with even cleaner RNG, which is a renewable fuel. Angie Energy Systems is a technology provider and equipment manufacturer. Uh, for over 30 years, we've been the premier manufacturer of CNG fueling equipment in North America. We also package machinery that compresses natural gas to move it into pipeline systems, specifically biomethane and RNG. We had a customer come to us and they were in putting in a gas plant to capture gas from a large food canning facility. They had very high quality feedstock, so they were able to produce a good percentage of biomethane through the, an anaerobic digestion process. They called on us to come up with a compression system that could take the gas from their plant safely compress it into a transportation trailer where then they could deliver it to a pipeline interconnect about 100 miles away. We have about 20 different counties across the state of South Carolina that send all their vegetables to a cannery in Effingham, South Carolina. That cannery produces a, uh, a byproduct of vegetable waste that produces methane gas. We refine that methane gas, put it on a trailer, um, then send it to Georgetown, South Carolina where we inject it back into the pipeline to use for various purposes, industrial or home heating. Some cases that we see biogas being used for, renewable energy being used for, is large multinational companies who are looking to source renewable energy. So they have electricity usage and they have natural gas usage. And we find that they're very focused on finding renewable versions of that. There's just not enough energy to go around no matter where it's coming from, whether it's hydro, nuclear, solar, and gas, and natural gas, and, and the demand for that, the reliability of energy comes into play, and so all of our customers are interested in having a reliable source. The renewable energy that they're sourcing is being created in their region where their employees live and work. So we are really working with the communities from start to finish where the biogas is produced and then when the RNG is consumed. We were often countered with sort of a, a disbelief. Is this even real? Can this even work? I didn't even know there was methane in my waste stream and you can actually sell that to somebody? And the answer is yes. And it took us some time and some significant investment to do that. But the demand for that renewable fuel that we generate from the waste streams is enormous. And it's being driven by sustainability leaders, Fortune 500 companies that, that are adamant about decarbonization and doing the right thing. Right now, there's a huge demand for ultra clean renewable natural gas, which is spurring investment of producers who are going after organic waste feedstocks and other types of feedstocks like landfills, animal waste, food waste, taking that 
feedstock and through anaerobic digestion creating biomethane. What we see in the future is continued demand for ultra clean RNG, but also the potential to produce hydrogen from biogas as well. The concept of biogas and RNG is new, so if you come in and nobody's heard of the companies you're using before, they're not very comfortable. So when we mention Angie and Ariel, our customers say, oh yeah, they make good products, and they know, they just know that it's a good product. The responses that we've gotten, um, both from Ariel and Angie, have been outstanding. We've been able to innovate as a result of it. And I think that level of innovation has actually given Green Gas a competitive advantage, and we want to keep building on that. Ariel's value that we bring to the renewable natural gas or RNG industry is really the same as we bring to all of our other industries and customers. Almost 60 years of experience, 60,000 plus compressors in the field, we can take all of that uh, experience and apply it to a relatively new industry, the RNG industry. We have a wide range of products that allow us to cover a, a large pressure and horsepower range. We can go from 100 horsepower all the way up to 10,000 horsepower and we can do pressures as high as 12,000 pounds. There's really no application we can't meet. It's been extremely rewarding to see this technology which is proven be used for renewable fuel production, helping our clients meet their sustainability goals and improve air quality in our communities. So as we look to the future, we're going to explore more applications where we can use compression technology to better the environment and improve air quality and help our customers meet their sustainability goals. My dream is, if, if, if we had to be aspirational, I want to cover every lagoon that's emitting methane as soon as I possibly can, and ideally do something beneficial with it. And th that's what we want to do as Green Gas long term. I mean, it's a definitely an interesting process of being able to turn something as simple as vegetable waste into natural gas, renewable natural gas. Renewable natural gas goes a long way to doing a lot of positive for not only the environment, but society as a whole. We are super excited about the RNG industry. We see it continuing to grow. We're taking a gas that has historically been thrown away into the atmosphere, capturing it, and then putting it into a pipeline so it can be used really for a new green energy source.